What is going on, good people? How are you guys this morning? I'm having a, a okay morning. Uh, I was blessed enough to wake up this morning, and I'm so very thankful and grateful for that. And um, I'm out of the house um, in my workout gear. I plan to go to the gym a little bit later, but I'm actually on my way to the bank and to Lowe's because y'all my whole entire mailbox. Can somebody please around. explain to me what in the blankety blank is going on here? My whole entire mailbox is just gone. Like somebody hit my mailbox and was too trifling and too chicken enough to own up to it, or either they did it on purpose. Let me find out. Let me find out though. Let me find out it was one of y'all, okay? But they were they just left it. They just they just hit my mailbox and just Peace. Let me tell y'all, that is not the business. If you ever hit somebody's property, please at least acknowledge it. Mailboxes, I don't think they cost that much, but you did it. Now I, the homeowner, have to either pay for a new mailbox, which we're not about to do if we don't have to do, and, or should I say, or, rig this bad boy up which is what I'm about to attempt to do because your girl don't have time to be paying for unnecessary items so I'm on my way to Lowe's I'm hoping they got some long screws long nails I mean screws I hope they got some long <coughs> nails because I'm about to try to um put this mailbox back together single mom problems hashtag single mom problems Lord, I need me a good, good man to come into my life so he can handle stuff like this because I don't have time. But until then, I'm going to be out there with my little toolbox. Yes, I do have a toolbox. I have a, a whole bunch of tools. And um, we're going to see what we can make happen. I also wanted to go and wash my car, but it's rainy. I should have known, though. I figured that it might rain like later in the week. So um, I figured, you know, it would be something. I kind of questioned myself as to whether or not I wanted to wash my car because it's just gonna get like filthy again, like quicker than I wanted to. But y'all, I, I can't stand for my car to be dirty. I really can't. Like my baby need to be styling and profiling at all times. You hear me? Look, I don't, I'm all in here in the dark. Let me open this up a little bit. Hold on. But um, but um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go to, like I said, I'm gonna go to the bank. I'm gonna go to um Lowe's, and I think I'm gonna stop by Walgreens because I want to get some more hair vitamins. I was gonna get the um, Myel. What is it? It's called Myel, right? Myel Organic Hair Vitamins. Um, but um, I'm not 100 percent sure about that because. the same price as the ones that I got before. 
or even though last time I think I bought them for $7.99, but they might have been on sale. I don't know, but the point is this. I'm gonna do a price comparison. If they're not on sale and they come out to be around the same thing as the other vitamins, then I'm gonna go ahead and get the my else because you know I want to support my people. But if these vitamins $7.99 like I think they were, we're gonna go ahead and get those because <laughs> save your coins. Save your coins, boo. Because you already know how, how I operate. Need to fake the phone, you know. I'm trying to find some paint to paint my mailbox because it needs it. I think I think this is what I got before the flat black, but I think I'm gonna get the satin black this time. I don't know. I'm gonna get one of these. So I also need to get a light fixture for my front porch area because the old one I had broke and I actually didn't like it so I was looking forward to getting a new light. But these lights are expensive. And it looks like the one I had was the cheapest one that they have. So I might be getting that again. Y'all see why I can't be buying all these other items that I really want because it costs too much just to replace the things that I need like it's stupid it's stupid <laughs> this light fish this ugly light fixture it's not ugly it's just generic it's $39.98 ain't nobody got time for that I don't know if you guys can see that but this one right here is the one that was at my house. It's the same as this right here. And it's $39.98. I can get white, but I don't want white. Hmm. I can get this odd shape one, but I don't want that either. Struggle is real. And I just realized that I left a gold a little gift card at home. Fail. Alright guys, so I finally found the mailboxes. Yeah, we not about to get none of these. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They range from $36.98, which is $37, all the way to $89.98. Yeah, we not about to do that. We, we, not, we not about to do that at all. That's some bull. Mm-mm. So just that quick, I came in Lowe's, I needed spray paint, I needed a light fixture, and I needed a mailbox. That's over $100. Just that quick, three items. Like, no, no. We're not about to do this, we're gonna rig this up. We're gonna find the nails, and we're gonna fix this thing. Mm -mm. No, hashtag single mom problems. I think this might be what I need right here. Some nails. Let me see. I need some extra long nails though. Oh, I'm not about to pay 13. No. No. No, no. And I only need like a handful. So I decided to go with this. This is a pretty long nail. Nice flat head on top. 387. 387 bit. Alright, y'all. I'm back in the car. Overall, this is a successful trip, I think. <laughs> it all depends upon if I can get this mailbox up, right? But this trip to Lowe's could have potentially caused a hundred 
plus dollars. And I paid $17 and one cent. Listen, listen. Save your coins. Nobody don't have time for all of this frivolous spending. Okay? It's unnecessary. Especially when I didn't break my mailbox. I'm real salty about this. I really am. I, I, I'm low key. No, bump low key. I'm high key pissed off. Because this just does not have to be. I didn't have to come to Lowe's and spend this money. Well, at least for the nails. And, um, well, yeah, just, just the nails. The other items that I bought were the spray paint, of course, and I forgot as I was on the way out that I needed, of course, an AC filter. And because of the fact that I have some type of very oddly shaped AC unit, um, I have a very rare AC filter uh, dimension, measurement, whatever you want to call it. And guess what? They always have a limited supply and they're more expensive than everybody else little three four dollar ac filters like why why is it always me huh hmm? Hmm? riddle me this but that's okay the lord has made a way for me to come out these people stole without stealing y'all i'm just playing i would never ever steal like that totally goes against who i am what i am what i stand for i do not steal i do not, do not promote stealing so these are just jokes people just jokes but uh yeah so i made it out and now it's time for me to run to this bank although i think i'm gonna go to walgreens first because like, let me think about it let me play this out of my head now if i go to if i go to walgreens i come back here and hit the bank and then i go where am i going next that's what it matters yeah and i can go back home real quick so that's what i'll do i'm gonna go to walgreen first then the bank thanks for listening i know i'm rambling but thanks for listening to my it's just just thanks for listening say that the Walgreens trip was a success um vitamins were not $7.99 like I thought that they were they were actually $9.49 a bottle but they were buy one get one free so yeah that was that, that was pretty awesome I literally paid $9.49 for or no I think it came out to no it was $9.49 it was it was no extra taxes or fees or whatever. But yeah, so $9.49 for not one, but two bottles of vitamins. And it's 80 vitamins in each bottle. So that's 160 vitamins for under $10. Save your coins. Yes, this has been a save your coins moment brought to you by Southern Sweet Tea. Get some, get some. Also, when I was in Walgreens, the cashier, is that what they call the men too? Cashiers? I guess. Whatever. No offense to anybody that's a male cashier or a woman cashier. But anyway, the cashier was like, you look so familiar. Now, mind you, this boy looked like he in like 10th grade. He was like, you look so familiar. I'm like, I do. Y'all know I'm in my 30s. I hope I don't look familiar to you, son. He was like, well... I'll just say you look like a girl that I know and she's like 16 and she could either be your daughter or your sister, your little sister. And I said, well, she can't be my daughter cause mm, no, but <laughs> I said, um, well, you know, I get that a lot, which I do. I get that so much in Jacksonville. Like y'all Jacksonville is a huge city. I don't, I think I've, I've made that pretty clear in other videos. Like, um, Jacksonville is really big, really big. Like people don't even realize until they get here. As a matter of fact, my family who is not from here, but visits kind of often, every time they come they're like, we, are we still on the same side of town? Like Jacksonville is huge. I'm not exaggerating at all. Like I think,
think I put a picture up on um Instagram like months ago. It might have even been I was going to say 2015, but I think I'm lying. But I think it was definitely earlier this year. I put up a picture that um describes or illustrates, should I say, just how big Jacksonville is. Like you can put several other major cities inside of Jacksonville. I'm going to try to insert the picture if I can find it and you guys can see for yourself jacksonville is no joke it's it's a big city but my point in saying all of this is everywhere i go people talking about you know you look just like such and such or you know such and such they be like you know tracy you know tasha you know um veronica and I'd be like, no, I don't no, I don't know them. I have had people at funerals tapping me on the shoulder like, hey, you such and such sister. No, I'm not such and such sister. At least I don't think. Cause Papa was a Rolling Stone. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So hey, she might be my sister. But everywhere I go, at my job, to the mall, to Walgreens, everywhere I go, funerals. <laughs> Somebody saying I look like somebody. Like, it's crazy. So anyway, I'm at the bank now. So let me um uh, write write up my little slip and um I'll holler. I'll holler. I'll holler. Guys, I'm still at the bank waiting. But while I'm sitting here, I was thinking how I actually checked my subscriber count last night. And um, I have gained some other newer subscribers. So I just want to make sure I take the time out to always recognize um, the people that support me, the people that, um, you know, have my back. Um, I'm not a huge YouTube channel. Um, maybe one day that will happen. I don't know, but I'm just doing what I do for now. And I just am so happy and it just warms my heart when I see my subscriber count grow. It's slow growing, but slow and steady wins the race. But I just want to make sure that I convey just how much I appreciate you guys. I, I appreciate you. You're loyal. You're grateful. I appreciate that. You guys just don't, don't understand. Like a lot of people would probably be like, they would look at my subscriber count and they would be like, what's the big deal? But it it matters to me because the majority of my subscribers I don't know and it's not like they're family they're not friends I mean like you know like I know them in person so it it matters to me so I just want to make sure I say thank you from the bottom of my heart I couldn't be doing this without you guys I love you I appreciate you and it's my turn to go up to the window bye <laughs>
give you a card if you ask about it. I'm not just gonna, you know, necessarily volunteer it to you. They'll they'll give you a card for free. Right there, it's it's they right there in the store on display. A lot of people just pass by them. And I've had my car, I've had two cars. I had both of them, both of them for a few years now. But they give you a card that looks like so. Hope y'all can see that. What this card does, it gives you three cents off per gallon. Three cents off, people. To some of y'all extra bougie people, y'all probably be like, what's three cents? Three cents is a lot. Three cents adds up. All right? Remember that. I'm trying to help y'all out. Okay? There's no one in this world cheaper than me. Three cents off per gallon. So, the kick is you have to pay for your gas with cash. I know a lot of y'all don't like using cash. I don't understand why. I guess it's an inconvenience for you. Whatever. Me, I prefer to deal in cash. I don't like to swipe. You can swipe your life away. You can swipe yourself right into a negative bank account. And that's not the business. Or you have to deal with the embarrassment. I mean, it is low-key embarrassing to... Um, to swipe and be told that you have insufficient funds or the car. Um, ma'am, the car didn't go through. Nah, I'm not about that life. So, if you have cash, get you a car, go into the gate gas station, pay for you some gas, get the three cents off, and keep it pushing. This is for all y'all who didn't think I really had a toolbox. Listen, when you a mom, single, single mom, you got to do what you got to do, man. Got my trusty hammer. My box of nails that I just bought. And we about to go see what we can do with this mailbox. So, stay tuned. even talk to y'all about what I originally came to talk to y'all about when I cut on the camera I was talking to y'all about my mailbox situation okay so y'all saw from the previous footage that you know I went out there and I tried to um fix it but I soon realized after fumbling around for a few seconds that I'm gonna need another person so I have now called my mom and asked her if she will come over later this evening. Hopefully the sun will have gone down and it won't be raining. I've called her to come over to be the person to help me prop up the mailbox. And while she's doing that, I'm going to try to um, hammer some nails in there. Y'all, I'm going to get this bad boy rigged. For now, I did get it up off the ground, so that's good. But... Who knows how long it's gonna stay I, I don't know but um yeah so that's what we are right now with the mailbox situation so hopefully we can at least get this rigged up today because I I need my mail because I, I know that my postal 
guy already came by today and I'm sure he skipped right over my house, which is not necessarily a bad thing because your girl don't want no bills. <sighs> yeah, I need to just get this fixed before the homeowners association um be tacking notices and to my door and putting letters in my mailbox. Well, they can't put letters in my mailbox, right? So tacking notices to my door, um, talking about it's an eyesore to the neighborhood. So whatever. Anyway, um, hopefully we can get this handled, y'all. Fingers crossed. Y'all send up some prayers. I'm sure by the time y'all see this video, I'll either have rigged this mailbox up or I'll have a new one by then. <laughs> but still y'all pray for me always keep me in y'all prayers always not none of y'all you know not none of y'all nasty people I'm talking about good good kind-hearted people I'm talking y'all keep me and my daughter always keep us in your prayers because we we need it we're not the kind of people that feel like we're too good to ask for prayers we always need prayer so always keep us in your thoughts and prayers positive vibes only Thank you. Do y'all see me? I am soaked and wet. Well, maybe not soaked, but I'm definitely wet. It's raining again. But you know what? I can't do nothing about that. I just washed my car, but I knew the risk. I knew it could possibly rain again. But that's okay. It is what it is. Like, it's, as soon as I walked out of Target, it just started coming down. It wasn't coming down before I walked out of Target. As soon as I stepped foot out the door, it just... Rain down, fall on me. It just rained. So, I'm getting ready to take it to the house. First, I need to stop by my friend's house real quick. Other than that, I'm getting ready to take it to the house. Ain't no need to be being out in these streets with no money. So, yeah. I did get me a... Starbucks um, lemonade tea. I love these. Fact, I do not like Starbucks coffee. Yep, go ahead and just blast me in the comments. I don't even care. It's nasty. And y'all have trained your palate to like Starbucks burnt coffee. It's not good. It's not flavorful. It's burnt. That's why it's so um strong it's not good y'all making stuff up all y'all that i see every single youtube video talking about how good starbucks is it's not good the coffee not but these teas though hmm these teas are life oh you know what while i'm talking to you guys do you guys use the uh target cartwheel app if you don't, you sleeping. I use it almost every single time I come to Target. Um, I have predominantly though been using it the last um, two years. And not two years, I'm sorry. The last year. And um, it, it's, it's the business. If you can see this, Hopefully you can. I have saved a total of $59.23 since October of 2014. Now mind you, October of 2014 is when I when I actually got the app. Um, but I like I said. I really didn't like get into using it that much maybe probably like mid 2015 so um in a year I've saved almost $60 which is good 
It's really good. I'm telling y'all, this is a save your coins moment brought to you by Southern Sweet Tea. This whole entire vlog has been about saving your coins for the most part. I mean, we all have to buy things and some things you just can't avoid, but where you can save, save. People save. I have another app too, but it's not working right. It's called Ibotta. You guys need to get on that as well. You can use Ibotta and Cartwheel together. Ibotta though is a reimbursement type of app. So anyway, let me stop rambling because my phone just let me know it's getting ready to die. So let me go ahead and take it to the house, take it to the house, take it to the house. Mm, mm, mm. All right, bye. Do so y'all see this house right here? This is one of the two houses that I grew up in when I was younger. This house needs to be condemned because whoever moved here has not taken care of it. And obviously I think no one lives there now because I can, I'm looking straight through the house. That's crazy like for real for real i know i'm supposed to been going home y'all but i got detoured because they were doing road construction and the detour took me down the main street which we used to use to get to the old crib so i was like dang let me go by the crib man y'all that's it's a shame and actually what happened the reason we stopped living there is because Thanks, Mom, for your help. Yeah, you will. We appreciate it. You know, I'm mama to the rescue every time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>